My name is Suzanne Wright. I am presently the Grantwood Fellow in Painting and Drawing here at the University of Iowa. So I lived in New York City for many years. I went to school there. I went to Cooper Union. I had a really kind of dynamic experience um, with college there and then wanted to stay. So I lived in New York City for about 14, 15 years. And then after 9-11, I found an old Jewish hotel that I um, bought with my partner. And um, we, we made it into kind of an art farm, um, which was my vision, because I was like, well, I really want to be able to make work in nature, but I also wanted to be able to have people come and make their work. Some of my earlier work has to do with uh, engineered structures that I see every day. Um, in New York, it was like the George Washington Bridge that I would cross over multiple times a week. And then in, in LA, it was going by the BP refinery a lot. You'll see they're very, very much a part of the uh, female figure and the fusion of that kind of engineered structure and also the concepts of power and the fusion of power into the body. I've been presently working on a double pentagon painting. I'm trying to create a reflection of itself, kind of describing what I'm attempting to do, which is rethinking how, in particular, women exist in the world and sort of um, emphasizing the need for equality and transforming people's viewpoints of normally masculine symbols of power, but also what's been going on in our political system. One of the things you'll notice if you look at my work is uh, the amount of precision and control I need. I project the collaged image. I draw onto the surface of the canvas in pencil, and then I go back and start the next phase of it, which is carefully taping everything off, and then I cover it with a medium so as to seam up the tape so there's no seepage through the tape. You know, it's very personal and spiritual for me, my color choices. I attempt to reflect sort of the complexities of life with the colors I choose. Then I paint on that taped area and pull off the tape, which is unbelievably satisfying. And then after that's done, then I go back again and by hand and finish them that way. You know, my typical cities, LA and New York, you know, there's always something going on. Here it's very, it's quiet, I've been meditative, and I've been the most productive I've been in a very, since probably college, <laughs> you know. I've taught at a lot of schools, UCLA, all these different schools, and this one is really top, top notch. Part of my service as a fellow is being able to teach. Um, which is very much part of my art practice, ongoing, because you constantly are relearning things, you know, from them, and you are giving them access to your own knowledge. And I find that the students are really remarkable here. I really did not know a lot about Grantwood before I came. It was remarkable to me that he he was truly um, a teacher. He set up clusters for artists. He knew that they needed time. They needed a place to paint um, or make work, with women included, which is also very, that, that's like just unheard of for people at that time. And, and you can see that that is carried on through the legacy of Grant Wood. Like It's truly embraced and embodied in this actual fellowship. And, I got the golden ticket. <laughs>